Hey guys, Doug here. Um, well, recently what I did is I uh, redid the timing mechanism for my spleef field, and it's it's pretty interesting. So I decided I'd probably make a this video. So uh, I'll just show you and make sure it still works. I have it uh, off right now. Turn it on. I uh, hope it still works. Okay, there it goes. It should be a little bit faster now, but it might not be. I don't know. Just turn it off. Show you how it works. I guess it still takes a little while to kick on and turn off. Alright. Going through the little secret door. It's not so secret, but I do have it locked. And this is uh, what the lever does. It uh, pushes this piston down, like uh, someone just did up there. And uh, when it's pushed down, it blocks the flow of, or it allows the flow of uh, the redstone through uh, here. I'll go over here and. Uh, okay, so what it, that that does is. It turns off that torch and, and it turns uh, this block right over here. So it uh, it turns off the constant power and it also uh, allows power to run through this. And uh, to turn it off when uh, when that piston is retracted, just uh, turning this off will uh, turning that off will make it so this can push it up. Like I'll do right here. And there we go. So now it's off. And uh, so when it's pulsing, it goes all the way over here. And then I just have a, a piston repeater going. Because uh, I, I know when uh, you know, current's pulsing, it's pretty pretty stable with S&P, but I, I don't know, I just kind of felt like doing it. And then uh, it goes right into here. So instead of uh, what I had before was I had like a, to get all the way from over here to the timing mechanism over here, I had a couple of repeaters and it had a, a 16 clock right here that went into a uh, piston based pulse generator right here. That went into a piston inverter right over here, and uh, just really uh, simpled it up. Thanks for watching. Bye.